Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Yes, the Filmic Pro works on the Xperia 1 now. When I did review the phone initially, I couldn't find it in Google Play Store. Not sure if it was a recent app update or something. The phone didn't get any software updates. It's the app itself. But all of a sudden it did show up in Google Play Store. I did used to use it on the Xiaomi Mi 9 where the, for example, autofocus didn't work, weirdly enough, because on the Poco Phone F1 it works absolutely spot on with the inferior Snapdragon 845. But uh, let's focus on the Xperia 1. As you can see, the weight was worth it. Actually, a lot of things work with the Xperia 1. I have to admit that actually everything works with the Xperia 1. You can even choose which lens you want to use. Something, again, I couldn't do on my Xiaomi Mi 9. So if you'd like to, you can choose any of the triple lenses and then use it with Filmic Pro, which is absolutely amazing. Everything works. The autofocus works, the exposure lock works, the uh, white balance uh, works. And I've even made a small comparison to the Cinema Pro at the end of this video to show you what are the differences. I don't have the Cinema Grapher kit for the Filmic Pro. Pro on this on Android. I do have it on iOS purely because it didn't work as intended on the Xiaomi Mi 9. So I didn't know if I want to buy it. I might potentially buy the Cinegrapher kit on the Android now. Hence why, um, because it's obviously working on the Xperia 1 and that is going to be my mind handset for a while now. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really, really happy. Um, as you can see, the autofocus works absolutely spot on. Um, and yeah, I, there's literally nothing that I can complain about. So the weight was worth it. You do get the full camera to API support now. And you can record in flat if you want to um, with the Filmic Pro. But also if you go to the built-in Cinema Pro app, which I did the full review of uh, recently, you can see the link in the top right corner of the video. When you go to Venice CS, Venice CS is supposed to be the flat equivalent. So if you record anything in Venice CS look and then you want to do your own color grading in, let's say, LumaFusion um, or Final Cut Pro or Prem Adobe Premiere Pro, you can do that with the built in app. Um, so, yeah, pretty much really happy with the outcome. Not gonna complain. Um, Sony has done a really good job, I have to admit. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye.